this entire video absolutely free game breakdown tonight tuesday august 29th let's rock and roll 2-0 and last night baby if you were watching the braves minus one and a half 114 to four and billy the beards play the over in the astros red sox game that game went way over let's keep it coming guys i just uh left the podcast for osb that i do with scotty matthews and tommy d that went very well Make sure you guys check out that podcast. It's a little bit longer, but there's so, so, so much valuable information. If you guys think I'm good, these are two guys that have been in the business um, probably almost as long as I've been alive. I'm, I'm, I'm 42. These guys have been doing it for 40 years. So definitely two guys that you want to take a look at and follow. And guys, make sure that you get your bets in at the right sports book. You guys know that I am a big time um, not a fan of FanDuel and DraftKings. I'm a big time fan of MGM, Caesars, Points Bet. Those are my top three right there, without a doubt. Probably MGM, Points Bet, and Caesars in that order. So if you guys are betting in one of the legal states, make sure you're on one of those three sports books, without a doubt. Let's dig right into this game. But before I do that, one more thing make sure you subscribe to this page, turn those notifications on, hit that like button. And leave us a comment. Become part of the comment crew. The Orioles crushed the White Sox last night. This is game two of that series. Let's dive right in. And just keep in mind what I said about betting baseball this time of year. Um, Chicago has a 52-80 and 80 record on the year. They're a poor team. They're not a good team. They've dropped six of their last ten. They put up 4.1 runs a game, 8.2 hits, 240 batting average. 295 on base, 390 slugging. Pitching is ranked 25th and runs allowed, 5.1. Everything about this team is either mediocre or below mediocre. Um, not a very good team, right? So the Orioles, on the other hand, are first in the AL East. They are a solid team. They put up 11 hits yesterday. They're 82 and 49. They're first in the AL East in a really good AL East. The AL East where you have, I think, Every team is above 500 besides the Yankees. So you got in this AL East, you got the Orioles, you got the Rays, you got the Blue Jays, and then you got the Red Sox, who are all winning teams overall. Um, the Orioles are averaging five runs a game, 8.6 hits a game, 319 on base percentage, 254 batting average. Solid team, solid pitching, only giving up 4.2 runs a game, average ERA of four, 1.24 whip, all good stuff. Second in the league in fielding percentage. And you have Dean Kremer starting tonight. Very good player. He has a 4.31 ERA, 12-5 and five record. Like I said, Chicago's in a bad spot. They're pretty much out of it. They're trailing Minnesota by 17 games. They're facing one of the hottest teams in baseball right now. The Orioles have won eight out of their last ten, and they have one of their best pitchers on the mound. Um, this is an easy one for me. I'm taking... Orioles on the run line. Lock it in. Lock it and clock it, baby. And, guys, if you want more than that, Billy already shot his video. We got football coming up tomorrow. Well, the football isn't tomorrow, but the football videos are starting tomorrow for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe to the page. Hit that like button. Turn your notifications on. Leave us a comment. Become part of the comment crew. I have a surprise for you guys. I think you know what it might be. I'm, I've been talking about it for the last week or so. I'll see you guys tomorrow.